Hey guys, Sean here, Mahala.com, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to install a printer in Windows 7. Adding a printer is a simple and easy process in Windows 7. If you're installing a brand new printer, you will want to consult the manual. Now the reason I say this is because some printers require software to be installed before connecting the printer. If you do this setup in the wrong order, it could take some time to correct it. Now if your printer did not come with a driver CD, then to install it, simply connect it USB, and Windows should be able to find the driver automatically, although this driver might not let you use all the full functions of the printer. To get the best driver for your printer, you should get the newest driver from the manufacturer's website. Let's say, for instance, we want to get the driver for this printer, and all I have is the printer and connecting cords. If I look on the printer, I can find the make and model, then I just go to the manufacturer's website, and then punch in the make and model and download the newest driver for my operating system. Now if your printer does not connect via USB, then to install the printer, just click on the start menu, then click on devices and printers, then click on add printer. Now from here this is where you decide whether or not the printer is connected locally or if it's on the network. To connect a local printer, just simply click on the button right here. Now just select the type of port you have your printer connected to. Almost 95% of the time, if it's physically connected and it's not USB, you'd be looking at an LPT port. Now one note about the LPT port is this port is not a plug and play port. So that means when you plug your printer in to this port, your computer should be turned off. Then simply just hit next. Then from here, you can have Windows look for the driver via Windows Update. Or you can select the driver from a list if you know the exact make and model. Or if you have the driver disk, you can simply click on have disk and then point to the driver on the disk. Then hit next. You can also give the printer a name, whether it be Greg's printer, Phil's printer, or office printer. Now from here I can decide whether or not I'd like to share this printer on the network from my computer. I can also print the test page, then hit finish. This printer has become the default printer. To change that, I simply right click on another printer, then select set as default printer. This simply just means when I hit the print button, this just simply means when I hit the print button, it'll go directly to that printer. And there you go, you now know how to install a printer in Windows 7. If you'd like to stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe and feel free to rate and comment below. And thanks for watching.